I'm planning for the post bottom. Welcome to my latest shopping haul. I have done a Woolworths online shop. It turned out, if you watched my last one, they um, were trying to charge me $19 for delivery. I got in touch with them, worked it out. It is still free if you spend over $300 in one shop. So I've gone back to Woolworths because I do prefer it. So I have bought a lot of things here, but I've left a few things to get at Costco which I'll probably do tomorrow night and I'll add it to this video. You'll notice there are certain things I did not buy at Woolworths at all including meat and that is because I believe I can get a much better deal at Costco or at least a marginally better deal which is worth it. This shop is straight after I've done a whole heap of freezer meal prep which will be out probably just before this video so check that out if you have not already. 21 slow cooker freezer meals because I'm planning for the post postpartum. So this haul is to feed 11 people for two weeks. Starting with all the bread. Now I did order two lots of burger buns. They were out of stock with one. They gave me one packet. So I'll have to get another packet, but that's okay. Now, so all of this bread will mainly be eaten by kids for the next two weeks. Nine kids, two weeks. I thought I got more than three milks. Okay, I just checked. Yes, the other two have been put away in the fridge, so that's okay. Three big butters. We use that in baking and on toast and everything. We don't get margarine or anything like that. And then five creams. Mostly this is for coffee for two weeks for two people. And then some probably for cooking. We will see. I just got a sour cream in case we need it. And two blocks of cheese. We haven't been eating so much cheese lately, so... Two blocks should be fine. Okay, so all of the regular groceries, starting with frozen, didn't get too much. I got some blueberries, a kilo of blueberries. A couple of packets of broccoli, big thing of ice cream. I got quite a few uh, tins of fruit. Some of them will be to bake with, and it's mainly because I'm running out of tins um, or cans underneath my stairs, which is where I like to stock up on them. So I'm trying to build up some stock. A tin of pineapple. Don't know if I need that for anything. Grabbed it. I got a thing of brown sugar, just in case we run out of the one we got for baking. And I did get a couple more. Of, we've still got a couple of the cake mixes from the last shop I did. Just grabbed a couple more. What I'm going to do is a chocolate. Uh, and this is a new thing that people are doing. A cheap cake mix. A tin of fruit. Mix it together. Whack it in the oven. And there you have a simple dessert. So chocolate and plums I thought I would try. Four tins of tomatoes, two of tuna. I'm going to do a tuna casserole one night. The pasta is probably for that. These were like reduced a lot so I just grabbed those. The kids can have them one day in their school lunch as a treat. Um, jelly for one night as a family. Some honey, some lime juice to have in soda water. Anthony and I enjoy that. It's a sparkling non-sugary non drink. Um, olive oil. Also just hiding here some sidewalk chalk. Oh, that is a great sanity saver. Send the kids out with some sidewalk chalk. Uh, spaghetti for another recipe. Grab some gherkin relish because a few of my kids love it. Italian herb mix. Also, I was all out of oregano, so grab that. Some ranch dressing. Thing of corn kernels. Two things of black beans. Two of kidney beans there in case Jack makes, and as well as the corner thing, in case Jack makes a taco soup, which he's been saying he wants to do. So I'll grab the meat at Costco though. Some banana chips. I already have lots of nuts and some other dried fruits. And then two things of popcorn because I'm just about well out. That's such an easy thing to do. These look lovely. Cucumber and mint. And this is raspberry lemonade. 
and they're, I think they're sparkling, and um, um, they were half price. They're usually over seven dollars a bottle for 750 ml. So they were half price, so I grabbed six of them, and we will enjoy those on Christmas Eve as a family. I'm going to put them away. I took advantage with them being half price, but I think they're a new thing. I haven't seen them before. Corn flour. When I stock up on bakery sort of things, I like to just stock up. So I grabbed two things of corn flour. So now I don't have to worry about it for a while. Oats. I did run in the other day to get a couple of things and got a couple of packets of oats. So I've only got the one pack. Wheat bix and corn flakes and just some simple instant noodles. Also for a slow cooker recipe, it called for some instant brown rice. So it's a much more expensive way of doing it, but for the convenience of one of the slow cooker meals. I'm going to do that. Three punnets of strawberries. I'm going to get some more fruit at Costco. It tends to be a good, some of the things tend to be a good price. Two big lettuces, one cabbage. So I'll do chow mein. A thing of carrots, I've still got a thing in the fridge. A little, I forget what they're called. Um, two things of tomatoes, some fresh basil. Three, lots of pink lady apples, and spring onion, and some celery. As well as some nappies. Ooh, and some nappy pants for the toddler. I've got a lot of tissues, a lot of tissues. Had a cold last week, so I've just stocked up on tissues. I think this is a nesting thing. I've got tissues to take places, tissues, I don't know. I've got tissues for my, um, to put aside for my birth pack. I've got tissues for the playroom with cars thing. I don't know, I've got lots of tissues. And then we've got three pan pump soaps and kitty shampoo as well as a shampoo and conditioner for both of the showers. This is a great deal. It's uh, five for ten dollars for this GIF, which is basically an abrasive cleaner. So I, when um, when I'm nearing running out, I just grab five at a time because it's so cheap. Some baby wipes, three laundry liquids, a dishwasher powder, some antiseptic wipes, and two in wash boosters. And you'll see me in just a second with my Costco haul, which will be done tomorrow. Okay, so the next night we've come home from Costco and I'll show you what we got there. Okay, so I got some mozzarella cheese for a recipe. Um, uh, bacon. Pepperoni again for a recipe. Uh, meat for lunches. Those toothbrushes are not from Costco. Um, we're having my mother-in-law over tomorrow for her birthday so we've got some goodies to have then so we've got some cabana anthony chose some cave aged farmhouse cheddar and this swiss cheese they're cheese slices so very handy and it was on sale swiss cheese a kilo for ten dollars that was a good deal all my kids love these it's a pack of four of the fruit cheeses, we we'll grab those as usual. <laughs> Pickles, some custard to enjoy for sort of you know with fruit during the week. We just didn't have any sweet chili sauce, so this is just for the pantry. We didn't have any uh, tomato sauce left, so we grabbed a massive one of it. Hopefully, it lasts a while. As far as meat goes, I grabbed three and a half kilo of minced beef. This is for three different recipes. Jack is going to do a taco soup one night and a couple more. I will leave my menu plan below. And then also a couple of chickens to have roast chicken one night. I'm doing another recipe that calls for Italian sausage. And so I was just going to get Italian sausages and um, get the sausage meat out of the casings. But this is handmade Italian style meatballs. So that sounded perfect. Two kilo of that. Grabbed some garlic bread because it's a great price at Costco, just to put in the freezer. Then Spanakopita, all the kids love this, I think. Um, it's, you get two of them in there. So, um, yeah, two times one kilo. So we we'll grab that, we'll have one tomorrow. The baked beans were a great price, $8 something for a six pack, and they're not really quite large cans. I got some of the reduced sugar craisins. Um, I've been putting a few of these in with 
almonds and pistachios and I recommend it. It's very festive little trail mix, very simple and very delicious. Uh, these are Anthony's favourite chips, so he grabbed those. We'll put them out tomorrow and I love these. They were on sale, so I grabbed those to put out tomorrow as well. Uh, I just grabbed some uh, capsicums from Costco as well because they're a pretty good price and get six and the different tri colour. Uh, zucchini's a great price, $3.99 I think for a kilo and that looks really fresh and lovely so I'll grab that to put in whatever. Um, and ditto for the mushrooms, I'll just put them, probably we'll just have them with eggs for breakfast. I just got three bunches of banana, bananas, um, not quite sure how much they were so I just, because I'd forgotten to grab them, I got Sammy to run back and get them and I just said grab three. Oranges! Nice bag of oranges. They'd gone up by about a dollar in price, but still a very good deal in comparison to the supermarket. So six dollars something for four kilo. This penne pasta was a great deal. Three times one kilo for eight dollars something. And it's the Barilla uh, brand. Uh, and we would have one box as a family per go. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for that brand. We're almost out of kitchen bags, so grabbed some, some of those. The scotch tape was finally on sale, so I grabbed it. It's so expensive, but it's not. Even at Costco, it's almost $20 when it's not on sale. I got this for $13 something. It was $6 off. Um, and they used to have it in the like little cardboard containers, so I could um, add it to my actual... I've got a quite a, a heavy tape dispenser, which I enjoy using. And I'll probably still get these out of it and use that instead. Um, so I preferred it that way rather than in these cheap dispensers. But anyway, that's still a good deal. Doritos, that's when Jack makes taco soup. And then I got these because they're on sale for $12 something for 592 grams of the Lindor. And they're the Christmas mint collection. Got those just to put away for Christmas to put out at Christmas for whatever Christmassy things we have happening. This was on sale, half price, it was $4.99, usually almost $10 for the shepherd's bread. And that sounded interesting, so we'll try that tomorrow. And also the lavosh, love it, it was on sale a little bit, I think it was $7 something. So we'll grab those. Skippy peanut butter again, Anthony really enjoys that. We grabbed a cake to put out for my mother-in-law's birthday. One packet already this time. Only one packet of eggs instead of three because we've still got quite a few eggs. I may have to go back for more, but we'll see. And yesterday, not all the burger buns came in the shop. So now I grabbed this. It was five dollars something for a 12 pack. So um, we don't need more than 12, but I'll just keep the others in the freezer. Uh, and also I wanted to get chicken breast fillets and they didn't have any, I think because we were shopping at night. Uh, it was a very, very cold night though, so there weren't too many people there. That was nice, but I still need to get chicken fillets and I think, I think that's all I have to go and get. I will leave the total prices for both shops below as well as my menu plan. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to comment and the comments are disabled below, I didn't do that, YouTube did. So you can head over to my YouTube page, click on the community tab and I'll leave a thumbnail to this video where you can comment for this video. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and you take care. Bye bye.